now time to talk about the twos complement numbering system. Now I've got this image from uh, just the first Google image search I did and it came up with this website and this is a very good uh, representation of the numbering system. These let me get the right color are in binary. Click it. Okay. And then this is decimal of course. So two's complement numbering system is how we represent negative numbers in the computer. A lot of students tend to get lost here, but I'm going to make sure that you're not one of those. So somehow we have to represent negative numbers. So in this numbering system, we can talk about signed numbers going from negative 128 all the way up to positive 127. So it gives us 256 total numbers. 256. Oh, not really good, is it? 256. But if we talk about just unsigned numbers, we can have from 0 to 255. So that gives us another 256 numbers. So why weren't we able to go to 128 here? Because we had 0 in the middle. So if you think of a number line, 0 would be here, and that counts as a number. So you go from negative 128 up to 0. And if you go up to it and including both endpoints, that's actually 129 plus the extra 127 on the right side. And 129.7 is 256 total. All right, so you can see that if you start at the very small number, you go all the way up until the very first digit is a one. And if we want to represent that in hex, that would start with an eight and end with a zero. So eight zero, and this is a byte. So byte size representation of negative 128 All right. and we can do a similar strategy for larger numbers so if I wanted to write out instead of just 8 bytes here if I wanted to write out or 8 bits if I wanted to write out 32 bits then I could do the same thing but I'd have a double word size number and so it begin to begin with uh, what is this? What is this lower? The lowest. Uh, well, this here is F F. So if you see all ones, you know that's F, and that's negative one. So, so you're gonna start from like zero 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 zero. And you go all the way up to F F F F, and this is negative one, and this is zero. Somewhere in the middle, it switches from. So you had like one, two, three, all the way up to uh, some number here, which would still be positive. It would switch to negative, and then it would keep going down, and you get to negative one. So let's now get some of the preliminaries we'll need to work with this kind of mathematics. We're going to need to be able to convert between decimal and a hexadecimal number. So let me clear this out and paint over it. If you're working with a decimal number like 146 and you want to convert that into a hexadecimal or the other way around which might be easier to start with. So let's look at if we have F013. It's a pretty big number, right? So what this first place is, is 16 to the 0th power, and then we have 16 to the 1st power, 16 to the 2nd power, and 16 to the 3rd power. So what this says is, I have three, 3 values in the 16 to the 0th power, or 16 to the 0 times 3 which we would add to, I have one value of 16 to the first so I'm just writing this all out times 1 plus 
16 to the 8, or to the second, I have 0 of. So plus 0 plus 16 cubed, I have, remember, f is 15. So 16 cubed times 15. All right, and so we're going to have to learn how to do all the math on paper because you're not going to get any kind of calculator or anything to do this with. So 16 to the 0, well, that's easy, that's just a 1. I have 3 of those, so that's 3 plus 16 to the first, I have 1 of. Oh. Alright, and then what is 16 cubed? So that's 16 times 16. Let me tell you, that's 256. And we're going to add 250, or we're going to multiply 256 again by 16. So 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, this is 5 times 6 is 30 plus 3. And then 2 times 6 is 12 plus 3 gives us 15. Put the 0 here. 1 is 6 is 6, 5, and then 2. So 6, 9, 0, and 4. So don't get lazy. Um, and you'll see this 4096 at 16 cubed. You might want to memorize that. Alright. I certainly didn't. I'll work it out by hand. Okay, so plus all right, how many of those did we have? Fifteen of them. So if we had 15, 40, 96 is we're going to have to do, I'm going to do this over here, um, 4096 times 15 now. So 6 times 5 is 30, 9 times 5 is 45, plus 3 is 8, 4, alright, and then carry 4 down, 5, 4 is 20, and 0, let's see, 6, 9, 0, 4, and when we add those, we should get zero four one because eight and six is fourteen and four and one makes a five which when we add to nine is another fourteen and one and then a six. So six one four four zero. So when we add all that together, uh 40 and 16 is 56 plus 3 is 50, uh, 59 so we get 6 1 4 5 9 and that's in base 10 so what we did was we we took this uh, seemingly you know strange alien number over here and we recognized that this is 16 to the 0 16 to the first 16 squared and 16 cubed so we said how many of those how many of each of those do we have? We multiplied and summed and then we got our answer here.